Welcome to the Cannibal Abduction. I guess this game is made by the same people who made the Knight of the Scissors, so it should be pretty good. Default. Beautiful day in Kansas City, am I right, guys? Am I right? Man, I've been needing this for so long. Popped in the Wow, notice. really? Okay. Busy on the bottle, as usual. Oh, this is loud. Hell yes! Just the road in eyes. <laughs> what the? No, 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 baby, don't do this to me now. <laughs> baby, please. <Yeah. laughs> <coughs> ah, great. Oh, hey, stranger. What I know you're hey, definitely not a bad guy, up. aren't you? Oh, thank God. Can I get a lift? This heap of junk just died on me. Sure thing, son. But I wouldn't leave your vehicle out here. That's asking for trouble. Wait, why? What do you My mean? My home's just over yonder, and lucky for you, this old man's a mechanic. We could tow her to my garage. Would you? Mighty kind of you, sir. Grab some rope and tie it good and tie it to the truck now. Uh-oh. I don't like this man. It would be a kind old man, but I don't think so. Welcome to the Tucker Farm, son. Must be pretty boring around these parts. <laughs> you would be surprised. Some things happen out here folks wouldn't believe. Alright, let's pop the hood and take a gander. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> the engine's in a right mess. Pop's gonna kill my ass. Don't worry yourself now. Hmm, I'll make you an offer. An offer? I see you got a toolbox in your back seat. The old lady's been bugging me to fix an old wardrobe for weeks, but the garage has me busy as a cat on a hot tin roof. You ain't no mechanic, that's for sure. You a carpenter by trade? My pop's profession. I know my way around to hammer and nail. Sounds like we have a deal. Come, let's get inside. I really don't like the way their lips don't move when they're talking. Oh, what the heck? Maybe this man, this man is the good guy. Who knows? After you. Okay, no, he's not. He's so, definitely not. Look at his ribcage, dude. It sure is. Should be easy work for you, rat. I reckon I'll have this done in an hour. <laughs> there the boy. I'll get to fixing your vehicle. It'll run better than ever. Oh, before I forget, the wife listens to her favorite radio station around this time. Don't want to annoy the old goat. Better keep the door closed if that's all right with you. Um, sure, man. Okay, this is not the good guy. All right. Oh no! It. Watch, it's gonna hear the click lock. Okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna close the door and then you're gonna hear like. <laughs> oh, see, that's dude. <laughs> he called it, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. I mean, at least he has a hammer. You can just smash the window and get out, right? What's going on here? The job is almost done. Man, it's getting dark here. Does this old house have electricity or even lights? I'll ask the farmer if he has something to light this place, otherwise, I can't finish. Control Henry. Oh gosh, it's one of these games. Don't mind it, I'm just not used to it. Oh no, okay. E. How strange, <laughs> yes. Very strange. The door is locked. Anybody there? Nobody answers. I think I may have gotten, I may, I think I may have something to open it in my toolbox. That's what I was thinking. Um, uh, do you, a bobby pin, that's it? Okay. Final sign's good. Okay. We could just smash the window and get out, but I guess he doesn't know it's dire at this point, so. Uh oh. Tab. Use. And we're out. We're just lock picking masters, I guess. How convenient. A flashlight. Leave <laughs> or crap. You've got the flashlight. All items that can be grabbed. Keep in mind that Henry is easier to be noticed when the flashlight is on. How do I? Ah, okay. Wait, what's this? Your mother and I are leaving for town. We will be back later tonight. Great news. I have a nice young... Mama? Is that you? Oh, God. 
I have a nice young stray locked in Fred's room. Take care of it as soon as possible. Don't play with the food. They locked me in that bedroom on purpose. Don't play with the food. What the hell are these weirdos talking about? Seems like I'm alone for now, but I don't have much time. I must get the freak out of here. Yes, you do. Curious of what's over here, though, so I'm just going to take a gander. The common key. Boy, you just unlocked the door with the... Okay, your body pin's gone. I think I shouldn't probably go this way. I'm curious. The knob is missing. This is a good lock. I'll be able to lock pick it. The key opens it. Must be around. Oh, okay. Fuck, I'm turning this off. Never mind, it's too dark. Oh, God. Why are they telling me to sprint? It's locked. Okay. That's never a good sign. Maybe search. Ah. What's that? Oh, it was just pencil. Okay. Nothing useful. A pencil is always useful. What do you mean? Okay, that's a basement, I think. What's over here? Where's lo okay, well, I guess there's only one way I can go. <laughs> oh, it's not a basement. It's just a creepy room. What is that creaking? Lock seems cheap. I need to find something around to lock pick it. You just had a bobby pin. That, that, it doesn't just break when you are finished unless you really suck. Wait, the fridge? Cannibal? I'm not opening that fridge. <laughs> okay, I did. Hello? February 3rd, before going to bed last night, I found Aunt Mary sitting by her living room radio alone. She was staring at the radio with a blank look on her face and turning the dial over and over like she was trying to find a specific frequency. When I told her goodnight, she ignored me as if she was lost in her little own world. Uh, Uncle Bob told me she had been up all night. Maybe I should ask her about it. February 4th, I couldn't help but ask Aunt Mary why she was up so late as she opened her mouth to speak. She became over, overjoyed and giddy like a child. She told me I finally did it. It's the radio, you see. I, I can connect to it with the radio. It talks to me. I asked her who it was. Her sweet, joyful smile faded as that blank stare I seen last night returned like her soul got sucked out of her body all of a sudden. I left the room. We both ignored each other for the entire day. I'm starting to really worry about her. I think she needs to see a doctor. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm going to start fiddling with that, huh? The water stinks. The bathtub was filled a while ago. Drain. <gasps> wow, really? There's a key. Grab. I've got a bronze key. Um, where did that noise come from? I think somebody else could be in the house. You don't say. You do not say. Well, how am I supposed to hide from him? Got the bandage. Turn this off. Unlock. Oh, crap. Oh, it's just the TV. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Grab. VHS. On the TV to save the game. Keep in mind that every tape has a single use. Use them wisely. Henry won't be able to save the game if there is a threat nearby. Should I just save the game then? I suppose so. Alright, I guess... Save the game? Oh, I need a hammer. Okay, so we need to go back for your tools. You literally had a hammer in your hand. Yes, my hammer. Can I clock someone over the head with it? I really hope I can. Okay.
These nails are not making very much noise, but I'm fine with that. What's in here? Oh my god, dude, the damn doors. One slamming behind me. It's locked. Can be open with a common key. Did you not just find a common key? The bronze key in the bathtub, whatever. Aunt Mary and Uncle Bob will be back on their trip until tomorrow, and Philip shouldn't be a problem almost every day when the clock strikes 8.45. Philip goes to the basement and we don't see him until the next day. He's been doing this for weeks. I'm counting on him to doing it again today. I'll update later if I find anything. Update. As soon as I heard the basement door shut, I rushed to the radio. I wasn't sure what I was looking for, but I started twisting the dial just like my Aunt Mary did that night. I can't fully explain what I found, but some channels had strange sounds I've never heard before. It sounded like some kind of animal singing, humming. They kept repeating the same three patterns in the same order. I could tell because each pattern had a distinct tone and length. Is this the it my family talks about? This makes no sense. I can't hear it say anything. I just don't understand any of this. So who's writing these letters? Yes. Okay, there's a hiding spot. What's over here? Such a horrible lamp. Indeed. Didn't know he was a, a critic of lamps. A lamp critic, you could say. Look at that fucking smug face. He's in a cannibal's house and he's just like, eh, I don't care. Is aliens? Okay. I'm confused. I shit myself already. Okay, I did. A bunch of old books. They're two separate from the rest. One is an exotic cooking recipe, and the other about human anatomy. Well, that's that's comforting. Locked from the other side. I'm bet betting the the cannibal or whoever comes from that door. There we are. Okay. Don't know why it doesn't use the key for you automatically, but uh, wait, trousers. What's this? Uncle Bob was wet washing his truck in our backyard today, which is strange as he usually gets it waxed and washed in town. When I looked closer, it became clear why the front of the vehicle was a complete mess. The front bumper was hanging off. The radiator, radiator grill had some major denting. To top it off, both were covered in blood and what looked like small chunks of something stuck in the gaps. Uncle Bob would complain for days that the truck gets even a scratch on it. He never mentioned it even once, and no one in the family brought it up during dinner. Shit isn't funny anymore. <laughs> I was bringing the laundry basket down to the basement to load the washing machine, and I noticed the entry to the laundry room had been blocked off by a bookshelf and the washing machine disconnected. I tried to push the bookshelf to the side. It wouldn't budge an inch. I politely asked everyone for a reason. And all they do is ignore me. Every single day they ignore me. It's been weeks of this silent treatment. Bullshit. This is some sick joke I don't know about. I've forgotten the time I've had a good night's sleep. I hear the radio almost every night now. As everyone gathers around to listen until the early hours of the morning. I snuck down to get a peek at them. But as I got closer I stepped on a loose floorboard. Then uh, suddenly their heads turned to look at me. At the same time, like a pack of wolves spotting their next prey. They all invited me to join them as I stood frozen in fear. I was shaking so bad, but I managed to refuse, uh, refuse them and go back to bed. What's happening to my family? I'm not going crazy. Is something wrong with them? First it was Aunt Mary, and now everyone has lost their minds. I'm going to go get to the bottom of this. I fear will happen if they catch me snooping around, but I have to try something. I just need to wait for the right time. Okay. Crazy ass one to go. <laughs> just kidding. It's a gorgeous lockbox. This is a socket that opens it. I wonder if there's something around that could fit. I even may come in handy. Grab, my pockets are full. I should leave some stuff in my toolbox and come back. Really? Grab. So the door down the hall has no knob. I can't do that, and I can't use the common key on that drawer. It's to my left. I can't remember what door had the cheap lock. Was it this one? Yep. 
this. That is not how you use the pipe and to lock the doors, but okay. I'll, I'll accept it. Just this one time. And only this one time. We're reading, yay, okay. Playing with Daisy today, she's the only member of the family I can trust. She was so happy wagging her tail and playing with her toys. Gave me comfort. I have not felt it in a long time. She reminded me of when things were normal. Something is not right with her. It's her breath. She licked my chin and the stench nearly made me throw up. What the hell are they feeding her? It doesn't even smell like dog food. I'm getting the hell out of this house. I cannot recognize my family anymore. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. A, blo a blood-soaked bandage wrapped around their arms. Resting on the table with blood still wet, they cut off their own arms. Uncle Bob grabbed my arm and placed a cleaver into my hand and sat back down and they all looked at me. He asked me if I wanted to do it too. I threw the cleaver on the table and ran out to my room. I have all my ba bags packed now and I'm ready to leave this hellhole. Uncle Bob, Aunt Mary, Philip, I promise I'll be back with help. Please be safe, Daisy. Yes, Daisy. Please be safe. When they're cannibals, they won't hurt the dog, right? A picture of Johnny Boy. I remember watching him live with the crickets when I was younger. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. Oh, thank God. Daisy. Okay, I'm sorry. Daisy, I'm sorry. Daisy. Daisy? Daisy! <laughs> you mad. Oh, crap. Uh the dog first seems like a good plan you may be right like hmm okay okay daisy calm down daisy i'll get you to something to eat all right i get you unlock yes i'll get you something to eat daisy calm down you damn maniac let's go use one of those vhs's bam so Daisy will need something to eat. I don't know if we can open that fridge door now, but we might be able to. Open? No, still no. This it's locked. It can be opened with a common key. Oh, that damn common key. What is this? What the hell? That's a freaking arm. I'm not touching it. You have to. It's for Daisy. <laughs> Come on. Jesus. Please, 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 please. Go on, go, go, get in. Ooh. Ooh. Go the hell away, you damn manacle. I don't know what that is. God. Go away. Go away. Well, I'm screwed. Oh my god. I didn't get a good look at that thing. Hello? Don't be door camping me now. Did he come out of the room like I said he would? That one back door? I, I don't even remember. Oh, we didn't go back either. What's in there? Fireplace lights the room. This push this loose brick, but I cannot reach it. Uh, so yeah, there was another door back here. Oh, God. Really? You're going to make me do this? Okay, fine. I mean... What's worse than... Oh god. That monster thing. What's this? There's a key here. <gasps> the common key. I've been looking all over for this common key. Who would leave all these good books in the basement? How strange. Oh yeah, this is the, the bookshelf he was talking about. That he needs to move, right? The water is not flowing. I need to vow to restore the flow. Holy crap, how long is this game? <laughs> There's so much stuff I still have to do. Oh man, okay. Here we are. Here we go. Here we are. Here I go. Looks so I got the common key. I hate the sound effects so much. 
like they're good but like they scare me i thought i heard footsteps so i kept on stopping i'm like is that is that someone right there <laughs> i couldn't tell good thing he does not run because i was like running to the wall for like a split second there <laughs> what is that bandage really there's a jug oh our pockets are full wait what's in here Dude, I had that sixth sense. I knew I should wait for the hiding spot, dude. Oh my god. I was like, it's been too long since I've seen him. 